So here's the deal. The Jazza brand posted a very interesting article on March 6th of 2017 about Sheree. And it was titled, Sheree Whitfield admits ex-Bob was physically abusive. He choked me. And, you know, I, I didn't really know what to expect. But there's a little video clip, which is a preview. I think it's of episode 16 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 9. And it's about two minutes long. And, you know, I posted it on my blog. can't post it here. But... I just want to read this article to you guys. I mean, the, you know, when I first read the article title, I thought about her tagline, her infamous line, who going to check me, boo? And I was like, who going to choke me, boo? And then when I watched this video and saw her crying, sitting up there in the car with Phaedra and Kendra sitting behind them, excuse me, Kenya, not Kendra. I'm so stupid. Anyways, and she's sitting next to this idiot, sitting next to Bob, Bob Whitfield, this excuse my language just stupid ass and the way that he acted about the situation was like as if they weren't talking about anything just like just having just like a random conversation like we're talking about freaking spousal abuse like what uh, anyways man she's let me know in the comment section like she isn't with this this joker and jerk anymore right please tell me that she's not with this clown because I, I don't even know but I, I hope that they're not together. But anyways, like I previously stated, I judge whether or not I could be cool with a guy by how he treats this woman. If you're cheating or beating on your woman, I, I know that I can't trust you. Because if you can swap fluids with someone and lay in the bed with them every night and you can do them wrong. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't be cool with you. But anyways, let me go to read the article to you. The Jazz of Brand writes, Sheree Whitfield says ex Bob choked her. In a shocking confession on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Sheree Whitfield confesses that her ex-husband, Bob Whitfield, oh, thank God they're not together anymore. Ex-husband. His ass needs to stay an ex. I hope they never get back together. In a shocking confession on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Sheree Whitfield confesses that her ex-husband, Bob Whitfield, was physically abusive to her. Sheree spilled the tea while filming with Bob and Real Housewives of Atlanta castmates Phaedra Parks and Kenya Moore. I got her name right that time. While having a conversation about how she and Bob could not have gotten along as well as Cynthia Bailey and Peter Thomas, the conversation is brought up about some of the not so nice things that Bob has done to her in the past. Bob says that he doesn't recall ever putting his hands on Sheree and Sheree notes that Bob has choked her in the past. The revelation results in Sheree quietly crying. Check out the video below. So man it's a shame it's really pathetic like i understand that he doesn't remember i don't know if he was intoxicated i don't really know what was going on at the time that he wouldn't be able to remember some sick shit like that but apparently she remembers it and here she is sitting next to this this asshole in his stupefied like he if i'm not if I'm not mistaken, he's like a sports guy, like a football guy or something, right? Like a dumb jock, if I'm not mistaken. And boy, it shows. He definitely lived up to the stupid guy who plays sports stereotype. He is a dummy. I don't know if if he's a football player for sure, but if he was, I don't know if he was hitting his head on his head a bunch of times. But he, he sure as hell acts like it. This, this dude is a fucking douchebag. Thank God Sheree left his stupid ass. Anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I ought to cut this microphone off because I'm I'm, 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 just, I'm starting to get heated. And this dude is huge. This is a big, dumb, just dumb dude. Anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. And remember, if your, your spouse or significant other in general is hitting you, leave them. Because that's a sign. Don't wait for them to severely hurt you or kill you. Leave them. It's better to be alive without them than dead without them. You have one life. There are no do-overs. Protect your life. Get out. Just like that movie, Get Out, Get Out.